Hey Aries, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings. We take what works and we leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. And if I don't catch your wavelength or storyline here, check your other major placements. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. It makes me it makes me happy and it also helps other people find the channel. We are starting with uh, our Oracle decks, Moonology and Urban Crow. I feel like there's something off here. I'm just getting a lot of doors. <laughs> and um, and for an intuitive vibe, oh, we had some, some secret. Haha. <laughs> That's cute. I think, yeah, you want that. <laughs> right. And then we'll move on to the tarot mystical moments for a more traditional tarot spread after we... We finished getting the vibe here. Okay, that's that's enough. Okay, I really like this because you got um, oh, this is good. Ah, uh, fuck. This is not good. Okay, so oh man, energies here. Wow. Okay, but I do like this uh, new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. Time to move forward with something. It's Aries, and here you are. A new moon in Aries. Aries gets to start something, gets to move forward, needs to move forward, needs to initiate um, <clears throat> and take it, take some fiery action here. The energy is gaining momentum. You might not be quite ready to initiate something or to take action, but it's getting there. You're very close to, to I mean, it, in the Moonology deck, whenever it says time, it seems to me pretty obviously that, um, that it's time to do something like uh, there's, there's like, uh, cards that have a passivity to them, cards that are just here to, to remind you of something. And then these ones that specifically mention time, uh, time is of the essence. The energy is gaining momentum. So you may be just starting something. You might be, I always think of these little birds as going on like a road trip. Um, you know, and they've sort of packed their car and mapped it out and now they're they're you know going through town getting to the freeway to really get started on their road trip so you might just need to start that road trip uh metaphorically or really i mean they're fun so um you might need, need to start that take action to begin that but the momentum is going the momentum you're somewhere on that part you're not quite on the open road yet but you're somewhere between you know packing the car and finding your way to the open road so momentum is is you're gaining momentum here um or you're you're you know planning something or planning out you maybe have been planning this action and now it's saying okay that action you've been planning that thing you've been planning to do it's time um, and I do like this uh, full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. This has shown up in lots of people's. We may be having crises of confidence in ourselves, in our abilities to, um, I mean, because it's showing up, it seems like a collective moment of like, can I really do this? Am I good enough? Am I able to pull this off? Am I, you know, barking up the wrong tree here? Do, is this even in line with my abilities? Where do I fall on the spectrum of like candidates for this job or whatever? Am I good enough? So it is, it is about, um, you are good enough. Um, and there is a sense of, of other things being enough. Like the plan is good enough. It doesn't have to be perfection. It doesn't have to be the greatest plan of all time. This doesn't have to be metaphorically the greatest road trip ever known in the history of humanity. It can just be a road trip, right? We can be good enough. We can, it can be enough and we can be, it doesn't have to be the greatest, the best, the most perfect, whatever plan, whatever you've been working on, it's time to take action and don't be a perfectionist about it. This is, it's, the plan is good enough. It's time to move forward with it, right? Enough thinking, enough dithering, enough trying to figure out exactly the best way to do this. Just move forward. Um, and then the crow oracle, which I may be, um, the urban crow oracle, which um, we have, I think it's really fascinating. We've got a fox, which also is, is known as a tricky little creature. And, and the, the crows right here are also known as tricky little creatures. So we've got survival and trickery. I love how the colors match and they kind of match me too. Um, and, but okay. So survival is, um, the sense of, of, 
This crow is frozen. It's stuck in survival mode. The crow can be just as tricky as the fox. This is a this is a matched wits here, right? The crow, the crow is uh, in its mind um, just genetically perfectly capable of outwitting a fox, even though a fox is very witty and very capable of of trickery itself. This um, this crow could could outwit this fox. But this crow is, uh, something's glitched up here and this crow's not tapping into its innate intelligence, its innate cleverness, its innate wit. And it's just sort of frozen here in, in, in some sort of survival mode. Maybe, maybe if I just stay here and don't do anything and don't try anything and don't get creative, I'll at least survive. And there is something to be said for living to, to survive, surviving another day, living, surviving, living to fight another day. There's something about that, right? But this crow is stuck and it's out of its nature. It's out of its, it has pulled its own mind stuck in fear here, has pulled itself out of its own innate intelligence and creative problem solving, right? So, um, so and it's pulled and, it, and it's just kind of hunkered down and trapped. So it's tra its own so we can we could look at this and say see the fox the situation has trapped this crow here but we could also say that the crow's own mind and own concept of how 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 much smarter it could be than this fox has actually been what's trapped the crow because this crow isn't isn't tapping into its innate intelligence isn't tapping into its creative creativity isn't trying anything new anything creative it's just in its mind it's trapped it's stuck in survival depends on being frozen but this card is here to tell us that is not the case that if this crow tapped into its na native intelligence its its natural abilities this crow has much greater abilities than it thinks it has so um so it needs to tap into you aries you need to tap into some creativity you can get moving you can not only survive this, but escape it or, or move on, move forward. We've got momentum here. It's time to take action. It's time to tap into that creative problem solver that you really actually are and free yourself completely from the situation, not just surviving this, but actually uh, gaining your freedom and moving on with your day and your life. And you're not trapped. The, the thing that's trapping you is fear. Um, and you have forgotten who you really are and how clever and how smart you are and how you can actually figure this out. You need to get in, in solution driven mode here and it's time to do that. And the energy is gaining momentum and you are good enough, right? There's a lot of self-worth things coming in here and, and needing to know that you are clever enough to outwit this situation that you're in. Um, and just hunkering down and freezing in place isn't a long-term solution. We also have trickery. So I like this coming in with survival because I think, I think this has to do with being clever. I think this has to do with cleverly, um, being sort of, um, clever and, 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 you know, trickery, we don't want to, you know, it's, I have come to believe that there is good trickery and there is bad trickery. And we're talking, it mixed with this survival, you need to get clever. You need to get clever about your survival, get clever about thriving, not just surviving. You need to tap into that cleverness. There's things you can do. There's tricks you can to do in this situation to free yourself and, and, and move towards something. So in this situation, this crow is um, hiding his stash, hiding his cash from, um, you know, burying it in, he's buried it in the ground here, his little treasure, and he's covering it up so that nobody steals it from him. So to me, like with this, with this fox, how do, you've got to outwit this fox and you've got the ability to do it. So outwit your situation. I'm going to look up trickery here. Um, just because I think there's something in there that, that we would find another layer in there that we'll find valuable. Okay. Story time with Empress Rose. Crows are known for stealing another bird's stash, then hiding it, covering it up with leaves to throw off its tracks. Similar in energy to the seven of swords, trickery brings to your attention that someone may be trying to deceive you. Oh, someone could be trying to make you feel more trapped than you actually are. All right. Where were we? 
This card may also indicate that your situation could benefit from allowing for some innovative and creative thinking. Yep. A little deception for the sake of the greater good may be warranted. That's what I was seeing. Um, a little deception for the greater good. So you might need to, you might need to engage in some clever, you just got to outwit this fox here. This fox could be a person, could be a situation you're looking at, um, where you feel trapped and you feel stuck but you've got it. You've got what it takes. You've got, you can totally outwit whatever situation you are in right now. And it's time to do it. You've, you've hunkered down and stayed trapped for long enough. It's time to use your wits, get creative in solving and getting yourself free. You can totally do this too. It's in your nature. You're born for this. All right, Aries. This is your past, your present, your inner landscape. What's at issue? Your environment, to-do list, possible outcome. Oh, to-do list. I have not seen you for a long time. Hmm. All right. A lot of these get familiar, you know, week by week. There's some themes here. But we've got the Hermit card in your recent past. Uh, this can be a, um, isolating, of course. This has been all of our recent passes, hopefully, or maybe. Um, so there's been some isolation here, but you've um, needed to use this time to figure out what you want, not what's expected of you, not what you're labeled as, not what other people decided that you should do, but something that you want. I feel like we've had this sort of concept show up um, frequently in your readings recently. You getting in touch with your own unique North Star, your own inner guidance system that's unique to you, um, and finding that light, listening to that light, understanding the light, seeing your place in the world through your own unique light, um, and understanding where you are here. And what, what, yeah, I'm reminded of the REM song, Stand in the Place Where You Are. Think about direction and wonder why you have it. That's the hermit card. Yeah. Um, so the, um, yeah, thinking about where you want to go, what's you, and you, and you've gotten in touch really with, with your unique self, with what you really do want. Um, and you're listening to that. You're not necessarily listening to, you know, the smart idea is this, or you should do that, or you, maybe you listen to it, but you integrated it into who you are. Um, this is your unique path and getting in touch with that. And, uh, there can be some time alone in order to get in touch with this. It's usually pretty necessary to silence the voices of other people that have their expectations of you. Um, but, um, and you know, if you, if you change or do something different, uh, they don't tend to like it. They tend to get a little, um, you're supposed to be like this, uh, because if you change, then I have to change and I don't want to change. So don't change. So we tend to need to isolate ourselves in order to find that true inner North star, that true inner guidance system. So you've connected with that. You've done some work towards that. You may have found something pretty surprising. Here we have ACE of swords. This is the beginning. This is a new idea. You have, um, you, maybe you've been working on it for a while, but it, you have a new idea. I don't know working on it for a while, but maybe this is what we're talking about here. It's time to take action on this new idea. Um, a flash of insight, an epiphany, a clear understanding. Um, there's some way in which this ace of swords, your mind, you, you needed to be able to, you grew and you changed and then something clicked open and you saw and it felt sudden, but usually there's been some growth and some change here indicated by the spiral pattern right here. So there's been some sort of insight, some flash of insight, or maybe even um, a clear sudden communication where you understand something, you see it very clearly, it makes sense. Um, and, um, and, and something was said, uh, maybe that, that had the effect of an epiphany of like, oh, that's what's going on. Or, um, oh, I understand this now. So there's been some sort of clear communication. The swords are about communication and they're about uh, ideas and thoughts. So this is an epiphany um, or a, a clear communication coming in here. It's the beginning of sort of a an idea to play with. There's a new idea here. There's a new concept that, that has come into your life. Your hopes, your fears, your inner landscape, you're really hoping um, to bring something to fruition, to bring something into real life. You know, this thing, it's a concept, it's an idea you've had. And now this would be, this is our another ace. This is our ace of pentacles. So the ace of pentacles in this card, I love how she depicts this because it's just so deep. And I feel like we've got 
down here we've got a whole journey through swords and cups and and wands ideas and intuition and there's a whole whole rooted well rooted system down here and we're hoping that it's grown and we can see it and it manifests here and and you know it's rooted in all these other things and in in previous ideas and and um and concepts but we're hoping that it's grown somewhat and that it's up here and that it can come into reality so this idea that we have that i believe is gaining momentum we're really hoping that this is see this would be all the gaining momentum here we're really hoping that it can emerge and actually be a real thing and actually be actionable you know we can see it touch it this would be you know if you thought oh i want to go in this direction with my job or my career and then you know you've done a lot of thinking about it a lot of talking to people about it um, and then here it start you're really wanting to see that that show up in reality this idea this hope that you have this thing you've been working on or thinking a lot about you're you're ready for it to be a real thing now and show up in reality um what's the issue here is seven of cups reverse yeah, this is a lot of options and not having made a choice this is either um hmm yeah a lot of options in not not being able to make a choice not having a clear choice a clear path forward um this is not prioritizing your time well um this is this is there, there's just not um the seven of cups in the upright is already some sort of you know there's a lot of options they all seem kind of equally valid what you you make this decision based on what you value what you think is going to bring you happiness your best guess at, at what's going to make you happy um, and it can be a little overwhelming in the reverse you either don't have any options that seem to have presented themselves or it's just so unclear it's extra um you're just really not sure which route to go that's going to bring you the the greatest happiness of course happiness is an inside job and a choice and a decision that we make but this is also uh, there are also situations of course where it's easier to access happiness than other situations right so this is um so we can still make that choice in terrible situations to to be as happy as we can in the situation but if we have options and we have a choice obviously we want to pick you know what that which is most likely to make us happy it looks like it's not clear here like you're wanting something in reality but you might not be sure that this is what you want and 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 that this is going to make you happy and you might have difficulty this can also be about prioritizing goals prioritizing things you might be having difficulty prioritizing uh what what you need to put your energy in your hopes in your your focused energy on there may be some difficulty here um in doing this 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 could be what has you trapped i mean i was just um, reading again about you know Sylvia Plas Beljar and, and the difficulty in making choices and how they they every choice we make um, eliminates other options and other choices and how uh, that can that can be really really feel like you can feel trapped there some some personalities do um, so this could be a little bit of what has you feeling trapped is just not knowing which way to go not knowing how to you know having a couple options and feeling stuck sort of uh, mentally trapped here uh, not knowing exactly which way to go or which which method or which path to choose here um, in in how you get out of out of the situation or how you move forward really I don't really see you in a situation you need to get out of I see you wanting to move forward and wanting to go towards something but being unclear on either how to do that um, how to prioritize that or even what direction even do you go in there's sort of a um, frozen you know by so many options or frozen by the choices um and just maybe if i just stay here and hunker down everything will i'll, I'll at least survive you know instead of taking making a choice to to move to of of what's going to bring you joy and happiness in your environment you have a death card here there's a big transition going on for you right now it can take months it can take a long time like this isn't necessarily an overnight thing but there's something in your environment here that is ending coming to an end um and that you there will be opportunities for new life here um and you'll be growing from this and from what is ending uh new things will happen and new things will occur and new things will grow so you're growing you're going to be benefiting from this ending 
um, but there is sort of an there is a pretty big ending in your environment something's something is is coming to an end and maybe you don't know what to do next you don't know where to go next you don't know uh, the next um, option that seems overwhelming to you of what to do next after this so your to-do list which isn't like a do this or you don't get any pudding um, this is more like looking for opportunities to engage with this energy um, your uh, opportunities for growth here lie in the eight of pentacles this is really interesting um, because this is about being absorbed by work that is a reflection of you and throughout this whole reading i've had a vibe that this is more about a work direction how i mean this could be a relationship thing too but this feels like it's got something to do with work and um and maybe you have a job ending or your college is ending or something like that uh, is what I was feeling with that death card but it could be a lot of different things and and it, this death card might not even be you because it's in your environment it could be someone you know is going through a bunch of huge changes and it's affecting your life anyway this is being absorbed by something that's a reflection of you um and it's usually work it's what you spend your time and your energy in this could be the solution to this problem is this absorbed in labors absorbed in your work you know maybe this is should the eight of pentacles is finding work or being being yeah absorbed in in work and and labors that are a true reflection of who you are and what you love and being able to bring your whole self into this work so that's what you're looking for is something it, it's work related it's focusing on that and focusing on bringing your truest self into into this work and expressing yourself using work finding labors or work finding something to do um, with your time or your money or your energy here um, that is very absorbing and and that you love doing and focusing on that focusing on um, what do you love to do and what is a best expression of who you are um, and bringing that into your work I like it because this work is more it's it is it is beyond survival this work this is you know it, it's often depicted as hard repetitive labor but there's also an understanding that it's the the laborer you is absorbed by this is is loving this is it's it's very it really this the laborer really connects with their labor right and i feel like it's the opposite of the survival the survival is staying in a job that doesn't resonate with you that that you hate that but it pays the bills and you have to do that you have to survive this is work that thrives this is you thriving in work doing something that you love and maybe something else would pay more but this is more about connecting with something that you love um and in in the realm of work um so i feel like you know yeah that really connects with that survival card here and i also like this trickery card we're hiding something we're sneaking something and she's also she's painting a butterfly so she's seeing these things and then this butterfly is in a way like um, mimics these other butterflies so i think there's something interesting about that here and then where you're going where you're headed a possible outcome or possibly something to be aware of coming towards you is judgment this is um, things coming back from your past for reevaluation. Um, so which is funny because we're entering a mercury, mercury retrograde period right now which is a lot of what that is things from the past coming back for reevaluation. so past decisions that you've made past routes that you've taken coming back here for you to reevaluate decisions that you've made in the past did you like that decision did you like what you prioritized did you like um, how do you like how you are making decisions do you like do you like where you're at right now it's something from the past comes back for you to reevaluate um, and just and maybe adjust and make your future decisions um, based on on what you find there in this reevaluation did you like how that went did you like um, did you like the outcome of that decision uh, so 
So they'll be, and you know, this also reminds me that there'll be a chance to reevaluate this. Does this, you know, if you're having difficulty making a choice, maybe make a choice, the one that makes you happy right now, but it's not, but it will, you will get an opportunity to reevaluate. Is it was, is this, did you guess right on what was going to make you happy? Did you guess, did you, cause it all is guessing and, and we bring in our intuition in that, but did you, did you make the right choice? You'll have an opportunity to reevaluate it. I don't think you're going to be stuck here. And I think that can help you actually get unstuck um, and start moving forward knowing that there's a lot of options and there's a lot of things you can keep trying here so all right Aries I hope that that was helpful for you um, and I hope you have a great week